Hey everybody, it's Jamie from No Getting Off This Train and today I am showing you four easy meal prep ideas that are healthy and use pre-packaged foods. If you've been following me for any length of time, you know that I am huge into the meal prep game. I love taking like an hour, hour and a half on a Sunday afternoon and just like chopping my vegetables for the week, making my breakfast, and even like getting some meat ready at times too. But a lot of you have said you are just so busy that it's really hard for you to even spend that little bit of a time in the kitchen just trying to get meals ready. And I totally get it. For the longest time, I've been wanting to do a meal prep session using like pre-packaged foods. I looked high and low just to see like, okay, what is healthy? What can you make that is easy? that is fast and can still give you like your daily nutrition requirements. So what I came up with for this particular session was using a rotisserie chicken. So rotisserie chickens are usually already fully cooked. They can come either hot or cold. You take it home and you just pretty much eat it. It's ready to eat. Uh, you can also shred the chicken off of it. This is what I did in the video as you'll see. And you can put it in meal prep meals. Super, super easy. I also bought some pre-bagged vegetables like broccoli and sweet potatoes as well as any instant rice and other instant grains. You also know I am all about saving money. I like you to eat healthy, but I also like to save money in the process. And yes, this particular way with all the pre-packaged stuff, it's more expensive. However, it is also more time efficient. So what you're gonna see today is from like a 90 minute meal prep session that I did. You do not have to do all four of these meals. You can just pick one of them and then just do one for the next few days. It'll take maybe 10 or 20 minutes to do one meal. And honestly, the hardest part I think is just taking the chicken off the bone. So I think next time I will do a video on already cooked pre-bagged like chicken chunks or chicken strips or something it's a good idea for another video or you can try it yourself with these particular recipes but each of these meals serves four so just keep that in mind as you watch this video to give yourself some ideas and along the way I'm gonna give you the prices of everything and the nutrition info at the end so are you ready to learn how to make fast easy and healthy meals let's get started so here is the before of everything before I prep it. I'm going to show prices here on all of the prepackaged items, but I'm making four different meals. Each one serves four, which is going to be a total of 16 servings. That can be lunch and dinner. You can even freeze some of this if you want to. But I've got the rotisserie chicken, bagged sweet potatoes and broccoli. I've got this bag of pre-cooked farro with olive oil some boil in bag brown rice, like frozen vegetables, like the peppers and onions, broccoli and corn. Some of that will be for taco soup and other things. And then just canned vegetables for the soup as well. So this is all we need basically. So let's get started with the meal prep. First thing I'm going to do is roast these vegetables. So I have the oven preheated to 400 degrees. Now if you look at the back of the bag, it does say that you can microwave these as well to steam them, but I really prefer the flavor of roasted, so I'm gonna do that. I sprayed the cookie sheet with cooking spray and I'm gonna spray the tops of them as well, and I'll sprinkle them with some salt and pepper too. Now keep in mind these serve four each and the bag said it was a one cup serving but after you roast them they're going to shrink a little bit so it's going to be a little less than a cup per serving. So those are going in the oven now. Now I'm going to work on the chicken. So really, this was the hardest part for me. It's not that it was hard, it was just really time consuming because I had to pull all the, the meat off of the bone. I did actually keep both of the carcasses. One of them is going in the vegetable soup, as you'll see later. The other one I put in the freezer. And I'm going to use that some other time, probably for soup again or something different. But the thing about this chicken, especially like a rotisserie chicken, you don't get quite as much meat from it as you would from just buying like regular chicken breast. All together, I'm going to get six cups of meat out of these two rotisserie chickens, which actually ended up being just enough for what I needed. Thank you. 
I think this took me like at least 10 or 15 minutes to do all of that. So yeah, definitely took the longest out of everything. The next thing I'm going to do is microwave one of these bags of rice. Now each bag has only two servings in it, so you might see later I will microwave another bag later on, but as you can see the ingredient, it's just rice. Instant rice is just as healthy as regular rice. It's already been cooked and dried. That's why it is much quicker to cook. So I filled up one of my containers with water, put one of the bags in there, and I cooked it in the microwave for only 10 minutes. While that was going, I prepared the vegetable soup. And I mean, that's super easy. You take all the ingredients and dump them in. This is a really good meal prep recipe, especially with prepackaged foods like the canned vegetables. Canned beans are just as good as the dried beans. I always use canned tomatoes. And then I use frozen corn instead of canned corn. Either one will work just fine. And then I used half of the bag of peppers and onions because the other half is going to go in the salsa chicken. And I added some water to it. I, it said to use like chicken broth or vegetable broth, but I'm putting one of the carcasses in there, just laying it right on top. So that'll give it kind of a good chicken brothy flavor, I guess. But I cooked it for six minutes in the instant pot with a natural release. That took about 20 minutes or so. So while all that is going, I'm going to prepare the chicken teriyaki. So I'm just gonna use a half cup serving for each one. I started with a half cup just, just to kind of see how much would fit in there. And it turned out that a half cup serving is perfect for basically all of the meals. And from here on, it's mostly just an assembly line of doing the chicken, microwaving all of the rice and everything. So as you can see, this bag of rice is done. I just poured it into a large bowl just to make it easier to scoop out. One serving is one cup. So this will be um, two servings. So that does mean I only filled two out of the four containers, I had to go back and microwave another bag. And one serving of the rice is 150 calories, I believe. So even like cutting that in half, that wouldn't give you enough food for this meal. So that's why I went and microwaved another bag. The next up was the broccoli. I ended up getting almost a full cup in each container. So those are pretty much done. I just added some teriyaki sauce to mine. You could add whatever kind of Asian sauce that you want, but I just added a tablespoon of the teriyaki sauce just on top of the chicken, just to give it a little bit of flavor. You could also add like soy sauce or just whatever else you have in the fridge. I'm gonna set those aside for now while the other rice is boiling and I'm gonna put the rest of it in the other two containers. But next up will be the salsa chicken. So just like the other, I put a half cup of chicken into each container. While this was going on, I also had the peppers and onions going in the microwave. I think that was after the other rice. But then I used almost a full cup of sweet potatoes per container. And then once the peppers were done, I put those on top as well. I also just took a spoonful of salsa and put it right on top of the chicken. It was nothing too special. One of our favorites is the medium salsa from Aldi because it is super cheap. We also love the hot salsa from Walmart. But next up, we are doing just the simple farro chicken. I put the chicken inside the containers and we had a little bit left over. So I just put 
a little bit of chicken in each one. So here is the farro with the olive oil. I looked at the ingredients. It's got some really good ingredients to it. Um, you just microwave it for about a minute. You pour a little bit of water in it and then it's ready to go. So the peppers and onions were done as you saw. I just put a little bit in each one. It really wasn't a whole lot. I think I used more than half the bag for the soup. So I would definitely try to add like either between a half cup to one cup of vegetables because we actually ended up adding more to it when we ate it. So here's the farro once it's done. Um, I'm going to show you a serving size as one cup, which is 300 calories, and it's only got two servings per container. So I ended up cutting it all in half and doing a half cup per serving, which is about 150 calories. And I think it ended up working quite well because that half cup of farro actually went a long way. sometime in there, I microwaved that bag of broccoli. So once again, it was about a one cup serving of broccoli per container. And then that one was finished. I really didn't put any sauce or anything on that one. I found that when we ate it, it didn't really need any extra sauce. It was pretty good. So I finished all three of those chicken meal prep containers. Um, I'm going to put all the nutrition info at the very end, but I ended up with really, really good meals. Um, they ended up lasting us a while. They kept us pretty full. Um, as you'll see later, we added like cheese and a couple other things to it, but I'll give you serving suggestions for those as well here in a few minutes. But I'm just going to let these cool off some because we still have the soup to worry about. So once the Instant Pot did its natural release, I opened up the lid and the soup was completely done. It took me a minute to figure out how to get all those bones out. I ended up doing okay, thankfully. But then I started to pull some of the meat off the bone. I didn't realize until after I pulled everything out that, yeah, the chicken came off pretty easily. So I was able to get a little bit of chicken into the soup. Then from here, I just put them into two big containers because I didn't have any smaller ones. But this one can serve either four or six, just depending on how hungry you guys were. We ended up uh, splitting this into four containers. So it's about two cups of soup each. So the first meal that we ate was the farro chicken. That one was 352 calories, which could be enough for you for a meal. I ended up adding some cheese on top of mine just for some extra fat and calories. That made it super, super good. Then the salsa chicken was 318 calories. We added a bag uh, or part of a bag of romaine hearts or romaine lettuce to it. Then we put some shredded cheese and some Greek yogurt on it as well instead of sour cream. You can also add some salsa to it as well or any of your other favorite taco toppings. This one was seriously delicious. I think the teriyaki chicken was my favorite just because I like the Asian kind of flavor to it. This one was 382 calories by itself. So I added some peanuts on top for some extra fat. Um, I also added some sriracha sauce later. You could add like peanut sauce to it. That would make it really good too. 
And then the taco soup, if you make it serve six, it's 166 calories. But if you make it serve four, it was 249 calories. And that's what we did. I also added some shredded cheese on top of mine and then some more Greek yogurt. And we ended up having some cornbread muffins on the side as well. But all in all, these were so easy to make, super delicious and still healthy. So I hope all of this made sense to you guys and I hope that you now have inspiration and motivation to know that yes, you can make these easy meals and you can make them super fast and healthy. And honestly, all of them were super delicious. Like I said in the beginning, next time I will probably do bags of like the already cooked chicken chunks or chicken tenders, whether it's fresh or frozen, because shredding the rotisserie chicken took the longest amount of time and it was kind of a pain. So I might try that next time just to give you guys an idea of what that could look like as well. If you have any other suggestions on what you would like to see, um, any kind of meal prep session with whether it's with like these prepackaged foods, um, new ideas with them, or how to get the most out of your money when it comes to meal prepping healthy food, please leave me a comment and let me know because I am always looking for more ideas from you guys. So just be sure to subscribe to this YouTube channel so you can be notified whenever those come out, as well as more grocery hauls and meal planning tips. Thank you all so much for watching and I will see you later.